Let's feast your eyes on Zhaoxing Dong Village. We're a little bit in the middle of nowhere in the outskirts of Guizhou province, but this place is one with nature, an architectural masterpiece, and home of a rich culture. Without a doubt, the most beautiful aspect of the village was its infrastructure. One of the first things that sticks out to me here is the road. It's not just a walking lane. It's very interesting to see cars driving on this huge road, but it still has the ancient town feel with the wooden architecture on both sides. And then when you think of Zhaoxingdong, you think of drum towers. So the tallest and most respected buildings here are the drum towers. They are the center of the village and serve as a communal space. There are five drum towers, which represent five good manners in Chinese tradition. Benevolence, righteousness, courtesy, wisdom, and trust. And interestingly, long ago, these drum towers were used as an alarm when there was fires or bandits nearby. Locals would climb to the top and beat on a drum to warn their neighbors. And they were built without any nails or ribbons. Another Zhao Xingdong meeting spot, also built without any nails, are its wind and rain bridges. The interiors are filled with beautiful depictions of Dong culture and life. This is the largest home of the world of the Dong people, and they have a very interesting culture. Firstly, until last century, they didn't have any written language, so music and singing was an integral part of communication throughout their history. The main singing group here, the Dong Chorus, is considered a world intangible heritage. I'm not sure if these dudes are a world intangible heritage, but they sure got soul. The Dong sure know how to party. If they're not busy ringing out everyone's eardrums with horns, they're busy eating, drinking, and singing. I just love the sense of community here. You could just tell that it's in these people's nature to get together and celebrate. While the Dong youngins are getting rough and wild, things are much calmer over here by this drum tower. So this is the coolest thing. Locals are watching this black and white movie inside the drum tower. That combined with all the smoky barbecue going on, I feel like I'm back in summer camp again. Another signature of Zhaoxing Dong is that you can find smoke everywhere. This town smells delicious. Everywhere I smell it, look, there's locals barbecuing various meats. The food here in Zhaoxing is very unique. They use 500 different ingredients in their cuisine. It's been an amazing day. A perfect way to cap it off is sitting next to some newly made friends by the river. Okay, everyone, meet my new Rose. This is Ronald, Donald, and Samothy. They are the chillest birds I have ever met. They know that when you come to Xiaoxing, it's all about relaxing with the bros, going with the flow, and just letting your worries free. It was hilarious anytime something rattled these guys. They would stand up as if to say, Guys, something is happening! But they were either too lazy or stupid to actually move. So eventually, one by one, they just sat back down. Those were good times. I'm gonna miss my Zhaoxing bird bros. Zhaoxing Dong is definitely an underrated Chinese ancient town. It's ranked number 43 in my ultimate Chinese ancient town rankings. But I absolutely love the sense of community here. And the vibes and the architecture are totally peaceful and unique. I really believe the only reason why it's not ranked higher is the fact that not a lot of people know about it. Its popularity has been on the rise over the past couple of years and tourism and construction have been increasing. But with most ancient towns, COVID has really put a damper on the tourism economy. When the borders open up again, I'm sure more and more people will find this place. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications because I'm gonna be visiting all of China's best ancient towns. Tomorrow I'm off on a fabulous hike exploring two other villages. You can find the link for that video in the description below and I'll see y'all for the next great China adventure. Hey.